Anyway, we're at Joanne's. We're selling cookies. And I haven't vlogged in like a week because of this. And I can't vlog when I'm with other Girl Scouts. But I can vlog when I'm with my kids. So that's what we're doing today. Chloe's drawing something really cute for the booth. Look at this adorable mess. Oh, so cute. So, that's where I've been. I've been selling cookies with my kid, and it takes up like all of our time because of drawing, or drawing, driving. So, and then like doing the booth all day. So I haven't had time to vlog. And I could do it in the car, but I'm exhausted at that point and I forget, I'm just being honest. So, the vlog is gonna be weird. Um, this fabric makes an amazing background though. Like, it makes me want to buy a bunch of bolts of fabric and put it in my room so that I have a background for vlogging. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Look, look at that. I really like it. Right? It can make a really hey, good background. Hey, <laughs> She's working hard. I made these. I'm gonna have an Etsy shop soon and I'm gonna sell my jewelry. So excited. Oh, I just need one. I just need one. Oh my god. It'll drive me crazy. For like three seconds. It's not focusing. Look at the pretty earrings. Hey, so I didn't mean to disappear for like two weeks, two, three weeks, two, two, three, I don't know. I didn't mean to disappear, um, but it got into cookie season <laughs> for Girl Scouts, and that is always like insanely mad chaos um, with cookie booths and boxes and boxes and boxes of cookies. I've had a car full of cookies. I've had a house full of cookies. I'm just like, oh my God. So I have not had the time to vlog. Like even in the car driving, I've been so exhausted that I'm just like, I can't, I can't do this right now. So I have not vlogged in a while and I feel kind of bad. Um, I haven't done anything social until last night and because of that I didn't even pull out the, the phone last night to vlog because it was just like, no, it's not going to happen. Um, I have been spending my free time either making jewelry or reading or watching YouTube videos because I just want to come home and not have to worry about freaking cookies. Um, we are still selling them until March 20th, but Chloe is basically done. Um, I think she needs like six more boxes and then she's, she's done. So if nobody else buys six boxes by March 20th, I'm going to buy them so that she hits her goal. But I think she'll, I think she'll get six boxes. She's not doing booths right now, so... We're done with boothing, unless she decides to change her mind. Um, but I'm like sitting here and I'm like, <laughs> it's March and I haven't vlogged, I think since the beginning of February. So I figured I probably should do that. I'm currently making star bits, which are little origami stars that I'm folding and I'll show you the whole process here in a minute. Um, but I'm just doing this because it's relaxing and I have kind of gotten addicted to this. It gives me something to do with my hands while I'm watching stuff or, you know, I'm, I'm a fidgety person and I don't like my fidget cube. I have one and I'm honestly not a fan of it. I like the fidget spinners more, but I actually like having something to do in my hands almost at all times. I'm just that way. So these are perfect for that. So I will show you 
here how to make one. So I'm basically just going to show you here because this is how I figure it's going to be the easiest. But you just take this little strip of paper. I bought these strips off Amazon and you make a little knot and you get it like as tight as you can without squishing it. You tuck the little tail under and then you just start turning it and it turns. Wow, my hands are dry. Anyway, you just keep turning it until you get to the end and it makes a little hexagon, a little puffy hexagon. And when you get to the end, you tuck it under. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Pull it just a little bit. And then this part, you can either tuck under there if you have enough room, but this one doesn't. So you just kind of, i got to use this side. You just kind of rip it off. And then you take your little hexagon and you hold it like this. And then you take your nails and you pinch and you pinch and you pinch and you have a little star. See, isn't it cute? Little star bit. So what I've been doing is I've been making those into earrings. And these ones glow in the dark. So this is actually a pair with three little doobadads. But this particular one glows in the dark. And then like I made I made the glittery star bit 4th of July earrings. And these ones also glow in the dark, but I put a little I put a little jewelry on them on the bottom. And I made like, these ones are just regular paper ones, but they're different colors. Oh, I have a couple that have like the danglies with the beads. I made these ones that are kind of like Christmas earrings. And I made these ones that have a little pearl and a little shiny bobble. These are also glow in the dark stars. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of jewelry making because it entertains me and it's a good hobby and it's been a while since I've had anything on the Etsy shop that I share with my sister and I'm like, you know what, I think I, think I need something on the Etsy shop. So I'm going to put all these back now. Last night we went out to eat at Melt with some friends and met some of my friends, new friends, and that was fun. And then we went to back to the house and we played board games. We played Libertalia, which is a really fun pirate game. Um, and then we played Cards Against Humanity. And there was a three-way tie for first place and a three-way tie for second place. So it was kind of funny. Um, we All of us that got the tied for first, it was me, Andrea, and Jordan tied for first place, and we each had eight black cards. And Nathan, Barbara, and Edward tied for second place, and they all had four black cards. So it was kind of funny how it ended up working out. Um, and then we came home and relaxed. I got a bunch of magic cards in the mail, so I'm excited about that because Toby's really into magic now. And when we go out in November, I know he's going to want to play, and he's going to be into it pretty hardcore at that point, I think. So, I haven't played Magic in probably close to 20 years, so I need to brush up on that and remember how to play. So, I bought some cards, and I need to go through those and try to remember how to play. I'm going to try to build a deck for me and Chloe. So that we can, I can teach her how to play. So I, I remember the basics. I remember having to like build a deck and, you know, tap your land and do like instants to make your monster stronger. But I don't remember how to like, I don't remember the details or like what's a good card and what's a bad card. And I remember being kind of confused with all the writing on the cards when I was playing it when I was younger. But the last time I tried to play, I think I was like 15, 16. 
somewhere in there. My sister's friends played, so I got a deck built from my sister, and I know we used to play at the truck stop, so we used to get coffee and, like, food, and I remember getting coffee and mozzarella sticks and playing Magic at the truck stop. So, but I always had to, like, go with her because she was my ride, so I wasn't even driving yet, so... Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Uh, but I'm going to do that and look through those cards today. Andrea gave me some music to listen to, so I am so excited. I have the Hamilton soundtrack, so I'm geeked about that. I'm probably the last person on the freaking planet, but I still haven't listened to it. And I haven't listened to the soundtrack. I haven't seen it. And I know it's going to make me want to see it, but I can't afford to see it because it's like $300 to get a ticket to Hamilton. So whatever. Um, it's like cats. You know, you're never going to get around to see it because it's so popular. Um, but yeah, um, it's just been super busy cookie season, so I haven't really been vlogging. I haven't been doing much. I haven't been had really the ability to vlog even if I wanted to because most of the cookie booths have been with other girls and I don't want to vlog people without their permission to vlog so and I know my sister doesn't like being in my vlogs so or at least you know the last few times I've I've said hey can I vlog and she's like I'd rather you you know not be on camera so I try to ask and if people say no I try to respect that but I also will admit, I have just forgotten because it's been so busy. So, um, yeah. I'm going to make some more Star Bits. This is what I do with my days. Make Star Bits all day. So I thought I was meeting with my friend today because I'm an idiot and I didn't look at my schedule. So I woke up this morning, got all my makeup done, decided to look halfway decent. And, sure enough, I'm a day ahead. It's only Wednesday. We're meeting Thursday. On the upside, she got a big cookie order from work, so I have to go pick up cookies today. And get those for Chloe, so I can meet with her tomorrow. When I'm supposed to meet with her, and get her cookies. <laughs> for her. So, yeah, I'm like, oh, I've been a day ahead all week. I don't know what is going on. I'm just a day ahead. It's really weird. So... Today, I think, was supposed to be a grocery day, grocery store day. I don't know. I'm so confused now. I went to hang out with Andrea yesterday, and we got sushi, which was really good in a new place I haven't been to yet after she got her hair done, and I'm going to get my hair done next week at the same place. It looks so cute, so I want my hair done. I need something something with this because it's always an ear it's always in a ponytail or a bun or something so I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna get my red back too I miss my red hair so I might go dark red I don't know I'm unsure look at my hot mess of a table I can't keep anything clean does anybody else have this issue like I don't know if it's just I don't know if it's just depression or if it's like my personality but I hate cleaning I don't know if anybody else does too but my mom was like the cleaning hang on let me put this down there we go my mom was a cleaning lady growing up and she was like always keeping everything clean so I don't know there's just something in me that's like I like to have a little bit of mess but a little bit of mess often turns into a lot of bit of mess and then I get annoyed about it. And where we currently live, we don't have a lot of storage, but we have a lot of stuff. So it just lends itself to a messy house very frequently. And we tend to have piles of things because we don't have a place for them. So it gets annoyingly messy. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just frustrating. I put on this stuff on my lips and it's giving me, here, look. Right here it's all red and I normally don't have reactions to makeup products 
but for some reason this stuff hurt me <laughs> and it like tinkled and it hurt so I'm not using this again it's the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme I got this from Emily for Christmas and I was like oh cool and I I actually really like clear glosses because I like my lip color um so I was kind of hoping it would just like slightly plump my lips a little bit but more or less work like a sheer lip gloss and unfortunately it like it tingled really badly it hurt and I had to like wipe it off and it's not fun so this is gonna actually just go in the trash because yeah ow my lips hurt this however is the Kate by Rimmel and Clear lip glossy stick and mine is dying because it melted in my pocket and it came off the thing so I have to like put it like this to put it on because it's all wiggly in the tube and I could just use a brush but I'm lazy um ah yes that stuff is soothing as hell so I will be repurchasing that because I really liked it um I got that where did I get that? I think that was a box. I think that was a birch box from forever ago that I had like laying in the drawer. And I finally have been going through all the damn samples. So I only have a little bit of samples left. And I'm actually contemplating doing either birch box or boxy charm again. But I don't know. It's a lot of money every month. And for stuff I don't really need. So I think I'll hold off on that until I'm working full time again. Um but i don't know it's kind of a maybe right now it's up in the air i there are other things i would rather have for that money every month so i probably won't but i kind of wanna so i don't know um when i was out with andrea yesterday she gave me a bunch of new music because i've been in a music rut and she gave me the hamilton soundtrack and oh my god it just makes me want to go see hamilton more so i'm I'm happy that I have the soundtrack and I'm kind of pissed that I have the soundtrack because now I just want to see the show more. But she's seen it, the lucky bitch. And I'm jealous. I'm extremely jealous. It's coming to Cleveland, but I know the tickets are going to be sold out before I can get them. Like, I know it. And they're going to cost an arm and a leg. And I'm just like, there's no way I'm going to be able to convince Nathan that I need to spend that much money on a ticket to see a play. So I'm going to cry. But yeah such as life what are you gonna do so today I have no real plans and I am just kind of gonna veg until I have to I have to figure out if she needs any more cookies and if she does then I will finalize that order and go down to my sister's house and pick them up because my sister has some on hand so I can get more cookies because I'm meeting with her tomorrow, so even better, because I thought, for some reason, my dumbass is a day ahead still, and keeps thinking, it's Thursday, but it's not, it's Wednesday. So, yeah, take off my shoes. Ugh! So I figure any time I actually say how often I'm going to upload curses me, and I never upload, so... I am going to keep it willy-nilly and upload whenever the fuck I feel like it because that seems to be the way that I get the most uploads on my channel. So I'm sorry I've disappeared for so long and I really am trying to get back on the vlog wagon. So hopefully I can. I should just do lives because most of my stuff is just five minutes of chatting. I should just do lives, but... Oh well, it's not me. So, yeah. I'm going to end this now. going to go eat some breakfast. And I am going to chill. I will see you guys all soon. Look at me ending a vlog. The proper way. Theoretically. Um, while I was uploading some stuff, I noticed that I left some things out. So, Chloe got a really cute haircut in the past couple weeks. So, I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to insert pictures of that now. And then 
Um, what was the other thing? Why can't I think of what the other thing was? Ow, my head hurts. The hair needs to come down. Oh, oh head scratches. Um, needs to be washed. Please don't judge me. And our bathroom got done. So our bathtub was really gross and really old and like it needed a lot of repair. So we actually shuffed out the money for bath fitters. Is shuffed a word? Um, shelled out the money for bath fitters. That's what I was looking for. And we did a bath fitters remodel and I love our new bathtub. It's gorgeous and it makes the rest of our bathroom look really old. So we definitely have to update the rest of the bathroom now. Um, I'm thinking about getting smart tiles for the bathroom and the kitchen because it's cheaper than tiling and the ones I like are on sale. So I think we might do that, but the bathroom looks really good and I will put pictures of it after. And if I can find it, I'll try to find a before picture, but I'm not sure if I can find one. So I will look for that and see, but if not, you just get the after views and the during and the after because I have one of that they took like all the stuff off and it shows like the original wood paneling like the original wood slats from the 20s in the wall which is kind of cool underneath the plaster lath so it's kind of neat um <laughs>